Buffalo Springfield into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, please welcome Tom Petty. Hi, good evening. Buffalo Springfield was born in 1966. They were blonde and brunette. They were fringe and paisley. They were the city and they were the canyons. They were the Sunset Strip and the Whiskey A Go-Go. They were three great voices and they were poets. They were electric and they were an absolutely new acoustic. They were ominous and they were a country morning. They were Cuban heels and moccasins. And they were Gretsch guitars and Fender amps. They were dueling guitar solos, one fluid and bluesy, the other fuzzy and angry. They were beautiful harmonies. They were a psychedelic orchestra. They sang of children's claims to fame, of broken arrows, and for what it was worth. They were immeasurably influential, and they've got many more groups that would make more silver and gold music throughout the decades to follow. They were most of all Stephen Stills, Richie Fure, Neil Young, Dewey Martin, and Bruce Palmer. Ladies and gentlemen, the Buffalo Springfield. that there's uh, one of us missing tonight. Uh, Neil. Neil's not here tonight. You know, I think all of you know what I'm talking about. And like there's television and all that stuff and I'm, I'm pissing off a lot of people. <laughs> but overall and after that fact, and all you know, get that out, out of, of your mind. That this thing is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing after all like these years. I'm really happy for this. And uh, boy, is my time up? I don't know. Probably. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your notes, Bruce. As has been said many, many times tonight, I would uh, like to thank the one from whom all blessings flow, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. To be honored tonight with the musicians that I've heard, I'm just absolutely blown away. Uh, to been able to have contributed, you know, what musical, um, you know, abilities we were able to have and to share with all of you. Thank you for honoring us tonight. I would like to... Um, uh, thank my wife of 30 years who has been an inspiration to me all of these years. Nancy, bless you, honey. And I'd like to say uh, just hello to my four daughters, Timmy, Katie, Polly, and Jesse, and my new grandson, Jackson Thomas. Thank you very much. God bless you. I just want to thank everybody and, uh, for being here and, um, you know, 1993, uh, this is, I kept it pretty quiet, but I uh, got real sick. Uh, I got allergic to a, a drug they gave me at the hospital and I had less than one in fa five chances of living. And they gave me uh, chemotherapy to, to save my life and, uh, and it's been one day at a time ever since, but you're looking at a real miracle. I'd like to thank God, and I'd like to have my mom, thank my mom and dad for having me. And my mother said I'd never amount to anything, so I'm still a drummer. But <laughs> thank you.
So Rich, he quit again. He quit again. <laughs> yeah. When we were young and our hearts beat wildly and we ran amok on Sunset Strip with electric guitars and words of wisdom, all the wisdom of a 23-year-old completely full of himself, <laughs> we, a guy named Norman Erdogan walked into a studio and said, I like this guy, <laughs> sign him up. Yeah. And Tunja Arif and Arif Nesui and Mario Medias and the whole old, old Atlantic family made that happen and it was just just glorious beyond belief and I am unutterably flattered and honored to be in this company the class of 97 is a heck of a bunch thank you all very very much